Tonight, a Forsyth County family is figuring out what's next. Deputies say a man killed his infant son. Sloan McDaniel was just three months old. He died yesterday, just days after his father, Brandon McDaniel, took him to the hospital. Now, the 20-year-old is in jail without bond facing murder charges. Steve King spoke with the baby's two godmothers who say the little boy was pure joy. I'm sad. I'm sad. This is a hard time. But I'm also grateful for his life, so... We are focusing on that. This baby was born just over three months ago. On Monday, he was taken to Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center by his father. That day, deputies arrested that man, 20-year-old Brandon Scott McDaniel, for felony child abuse. On Thursday, the infant died from his injuries, and Brandon McDaniel was charged with first-degree murder. Investigators say the deadly abuse happened at the father's home on Forest Line Drive in Clemens. Sloan's godparents say they're trying to focus on celebrating the boy's life, as difficult as that may be. We are all still processing. Everyone is still in shock, um, and we're just going to step back, realize that it's not in our hands anymore. For the family, we are all focused on celebrating Sloan's life and remembering all of the beautiful moments that we had with him, his smile and his giggle that he had just sort of found here recently. And Sloan's family absolutely adored him. Um, he was pure joy, pure joy. Just the chubbiest, sweetest, most beautiful boy. He was one of the happiest babies I've ever spent time around. I was pleased to know Sloan for the short three months that I did. Now they're trying to heal together. Um, it's just been really, really hard um, to realize the reality of the situation, but um, we have all just been able to cry together and to love together and to realize that, like, he's in a better place and he's not in pain, and that's what matters. That was Steve King reporting for us there. The suspect in this case, Brandon McDaniel, did go before a judge today. He's due back in court in early February.